Hi everyone, hope all's well. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to hotwire a washing machine motor. This is a Hotpoint WM FUG 742 washing machine. This will probably work for most Hotpoint and Indesits and maybe a few other models. It sometimes varies with how you have to wire the motors, but I can show you in the video on how to hotwire it, I suppose. So let's start off what I've got the cable ready, it's in a plastic close because this machine is going to be eating a brick. So I want it to be protected if it starts jumping on it. So what I'm going to do is I always do this, uh, is put it through this hole at the back. Because then that way the machine, well it was just a better place for the wire to be. As you know it can go through here and it won't really get damaged. Well, it prevents it from getting damaged, at least it's not like under the machine where it gets trapped and all that. So there's the one, I'm going to pull them in, and then let's hot wire it. So then let's start, well it would help if I have my jumper cable over as well. So let me go and get that. Okay, so here's a jumper cable and that's what we're going to be needing. So let's start off with the very top tab, actually let's see if I can clip this off, make it a bit easier for you to see. So let's put live or neutral can go in the goes in the top one. That's I believe the top two are brushes and then the green, orange and brown are the windings. Let me zoom in so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So so these the top two, the grey and green are I believe are brushed or brushes. And then it's obviously it comes out as another colour wire because I'm guessing that's attached to a thermal cutout inside the motor. And then the green, orange, and brown are the windings, and then the two end ones are tacos. The orange wire is actually the spin, spin coil in this motor, from what I've worked out. I believe it's a spin coil because it goes a lot faster. I've hot wired this motor before, that's how I know, because I've used this motor in other machines for hot wiring it. So let's put the neutral here. Live or neutral can go in either of these ones, what I've put it in. And then a jumper cable goes in from this one. So from a brush into a winding, which will be this one. It's a bit tightly packed, but that's how it is. So that's going into the orange one. This is going into the green wire. Well, the one next to the orange one. And this is going in the other green wire, which is next to the gray, which is next to the gray. And then the brown's going into the gray one at the top. So without further ado, we can probably test this and see if it spins. All right, let's zoom out. Let's put you so you can see the pulley turning and see how fast it can go. Now I've hot wired it. Right, let's go and get the plug and we'll plug it in and see how it goes. And see if it works. Right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Right then, that's exactly what I want it to do. Um, I'm gonna cable tie the uh, wires on and then it'll be almost ready for destruction. So let's cable tie it on then. Now we've foot wired it. That's, well, I wanna reattach this first to make my life a bit easier. Right, that's that in. All right, let's see. Well, I try not to use too many cable ties as obviously you can't use them again after. Let's put one through here, get it tied all up because you don't want this coming off as the machine's doing its crazy dance that you will be doing. Make sure that's really tight, that will probably come off um, when this plastic smashes off, as it often does on these hot points and indices for some reason, whenever I smash them up. Probably because I do them so tight.
All right, that's them all done. Let's see if we can clip these up so they're a bit shorter. Because, well, it don't really matter, just more for my sakes and what have you. All right, that's that clipped. Well, nearly. I've never known such a rubbish um, uh, one of these. I know it's old, I suppose. I mean, it's done all right. I've used this for a lot of things on different machines and clipping different things just to, um, you know, cut things. Probably used like really quite, you know, I've probably blightened them from whenever I've cut metal. Well, which sounds ridiculous, I know, but I probably have for some stupid reason. Okay, then. That's that all attached and it's ready for destruction now. As you can see, I didn't attach the earth, but I never do when I destroy a washing machine because I'm not going to be touching it and it normally trips more if it's attached. I mean, I would recommend you attach it if you're using this for other purposes, the um, motor, but um, yeah. All right, then if you have any questions, um, do ask them in the comments below. That's what the comment section is for. And I'll catch you in the next video. Maybe you'll be of this being smashed up. I don't know. All right, then. Thanks for watching. See you in, the next, see you in my next video.